Howdy y'all, it is day five, bottle five on the 25 days of bourbon and rye whiskey. Bottle five. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, again, uh, at my cousin's house, getting ready to leave on my trip. Uh, filming this early and apologize again uh, like last night if there's no signal where I can't get this uploaded in time but I will get it uploaded and that's the important point let's get the bottle five y'all hmm getting anything on this one that stands out it's, it's not bad just nothing standing out to me cheers yo there's a little bit of spice to it Much coming through um, on the nose or the palate for me. Nothing standing out. It's not bad, but it's not great. And there's nothing that's uh, you know giving me a wow factor on this. Um, probably not something I would chase. But for those of you who like it, hey, all our palates are different. We're all going to taste things different and smell things different. So. Uh, we're all going to have different things that we like. So if you like it, please let me know in the comments uh, whether you like it or not. If you're getting anything on the nose and if you're getting anything on the palate, please share it with everybody. Uh, that way everybody's getting something other than just my opinion on it. And what is it we're talking about today? Bottle 5 Rabbit Hole Derringer. Straight bourbon whiskey finished in PX Sherry Casks. PX stands for Pedro Jimenez. Um, twice finished in new toasted and charred American oak barrels and then the Pedro Jimenez sherry cask. Uh, bottled by Rabbit Hole Distillery. Mash bill 65% corn, 25% wheat, 10% malted barley. And uh, yeah, it's not bad, but uh, I think for the, for the price point, for me there's better things out there uh please let me know and let everybody else know what you all think in the comments about bottle five rabbit hole derringer straight bourbon whiskey finished in pedro jimenez sherry casks and bottled at 93 proof so let's get to this bonus bottle shall we so as you all know we have for the first time a sponsor uh, Mosquito Shield of East Louisville. Mosquito Shield. I don't know about you all, but I can't stand mosquitoes. Uh, I think they're a drain, literally, on <laughs> on life on the planet. Uh, yeah, I didn't plan that out. Uh, but. Uh, they, uh, my friend Jeremy reached out to me. Uh, he was starting Mosquito Shield of East Louisville and he wanted to sponsor our 25 days. Now he's not a big bourbon drinker himself, but he loves hearing about bourbon and the history of it for the state of Kentucky. Uh, so he wanted to do something for us and uh, to help get his name out there. And he asked me what the best uh, way of going about that would be. I said, well, if, uh, if you, if you wanna do something for bourbon lovers, you're gonna buy them bourbon. So that's what he did. Uh, he found us a nice bottle and we're going to try it right now. Yeah, I like it. Almost uh, a crisp apple I'm getting on the nose. Let me know what you guys get on the nose. Charge y'all. Can't wait for this one. Wow, that has all over spice, all 
all throughout the mouth. Um, definitely some vanilla coming through on it. Some there's some fruit in there that I can't pick out. Um, it's not real strong. It's just kind of wrapping around everything. Um, delicious, by the way. I love it. And uh, I have to apologize. I was in a hurry packing. I did not bring the bottle with me. So once I get back home, I will get pictures of the bottle and post it uh, in the comments so you guys can see the bottle and get the batch number and everything. But this bottle, Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, bottled at 100.7 proof. It's a blend of Joseph Magnus bourbons and 11 and 18 year old whiskeys. Now I'm not sure on the mash bills on all of that and uh, as far as what distilleries the whiskeys are coming from, it doesn't say bourbon, it says whiskey, so it could be Canadian whiskey, it could be uh, Scotch whiskey or Irish whiskey, I don't know. But uh, So they blend this together and then it's finished and, in, and I don't know how to pronounce it and I'm going to murder it, I'm sure, our Magnoc or Ag our Magnoc cask, it's a brandy cask. Uh, so that kind of uh, the brandy uh, brandy for those who haven't had it is really sweet really fruity and that's probably where that fruitiness is coming from that uh, that I'm tasting in there but uh, very delicious and again thanks to our friends at Mosquito Shield of East Louisville uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Mosquito Shield they uh, I have some flyers on it. If you guys want, I will take pictures of this and put it in the comments. I will just, not if you want, I will take pictures of this and post it in the comments. Um, they do uh, the Mosquito Shield Control, which is where they come out and spray like once every seven to 10 days. Uh, they've got an event shield program. If you're having a large event, like a family get together or something, you just want a one-time spray, they can come out and treat it before that. Uh, make sure you get rid of all those pests, uh, not the pests in your family, they can't do anything about that. But as far as the flying insects, the biting insects and everything, uh, they'll help take care of you so that your event goes off without a hitch and everybody stays outside where they should be. Yeah. Alright, so that is Mosquito Shield of East Louisville is our sponsor. Thanks again to them for such a great bottle. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please comment about Bottle 5 and about the bonus bottle. Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, bottled at 100.7 proof. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Sorry about the lateness of this video. I'm guessing it's going to be late because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure out where I'm camping at, there is absolutely zero signal and uh, nowhere near town, so no Wi-Fi options either. So if I can't get this uploaded on time, I'll get it uploaded as soon as I get back to civilization. I promise. Hope you guys have a great week and uh, remember, stay safe out there. Don't drink and drive, but do drink. And as always, bourbon on you.